we will try to increase the production by sea ranching. We have already started on an experimental basis. I would request all the states to put in a lot of thoughts into how do we do sea ranching. I am told that Japan did sea ranching to uh, stabilize its coastal fisheries, which was overexploited in 1970s, like what is being done now in India. So apart from the regulations in the marine sector, we should do sea ranching and we should very seriously look at how to reduce the cost of operation of the fishermen because that is a, a recurrent theme that is coming up in all our discussions, all our parliamentary discussions, all the assembly discussions that fishermen are suffering. Since we are not, we may not be able to increase the catch in the marine sector, we have to look at how do we reduce the cost of operation and increase the value that comes to the fish in terms of fuel efficient boats, in terms of alternate fuels, in terms of better fishing facilities and better value for the farmers. As far as aquaculture is concerned, we need to create suitable leasing policies, both for the fishers, fish farmers and entrepreneurs, for the public land, for the public reservoirs. Those people who want to do uh, aquaculture in their private lands, we need to create a very enabling environment. Then there are two very important issues in aquaculture. One is availability of seed, quality seed. The other is feed. Feed, it should be of quality and it should show results because the FCR ratio, the feed, the productivity is actually not for in terms of hectare. It is per kg of feed because feed is constituted of 60% of the cost of production of fish. So these are the two things I would request the states really to put their minds into it, to find out their hatcheries, how their hatcheries are functioning, their brood banks are functioning. In, if the in public sector those brood banks are not functioning in the optimum manner, whether we can do a, 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 to, to improve them through a PPP mode, because as governments we are not good at production, but we are very good in customer management, client management and management of the environment. So we can always do this. So these are some of the points I, I thought we can discuss.